Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee, and uh, we've got a threat for severe weather for um, late this afternoon and evening. We also have a heat advisory up, which covers uh, New Jersey on southward, uh, where uh, the temperatures are going to uh, reach up into the 90s in, in many areas, and it's going to feel a lot hotter with the humidity. I think that's pretty much a given. Everywhere else, it's going to be still very warm and very humid, so just don't pick today to run a marathon. Okay, first off, uh, the overnight downpours were few and far between, and, and, and again, there seems to be a boilerplate over the area when it comes to getting um, showers and thunderstorms, uh, although lately a few places, uh, New Jersey has been an exception to this, but uh, Long Island um, and Connecticut have had a tougher time. Uh, Hudson Valley has had some on and off uh, visits from thunderstorms. So now we're going to look at the HRR model, the HRRR model for this afternoon, and this is at 2 o'clock this afternoon where it has uh, a broken line of thunderstorms that develops from upstate New York or down through uh, much of western New Jersey. And then it moves it to the east. The, sun, the Again, the southern part of that line does not really look all that impressive, a kind of break off here. And the northern part is, starts to weaken as it moves out of the Hudson Valley and into Connecticut. So it's it's really this the area that's even further north that seems to be uh, the greatest the concentration of thunderstorms. Um, that, I guess, would make sense considering what um, is going on in the atmosphere with all the dynamics really further north uh, as you go up into upstate New York. But um, it's been really tricky trying to figure out with these thunderstorms how it's all going to play out. Now, the NAM model is a little different in terms of speed. Um, instead of having it you know, we're already now at the same time frame as the HRRR has all these thunderstorms uh, down through uh, west central New Jersey. Uh, the NAM is much further west and much slower. And we should point out that the HRRR model as a short range model tool has not been very good for the last um, many number of weeks. Now, I look at it uh, because broken clocks are right twice a day, but um, you know, I, I have uh, some skepticism here, and I think the clues are going to be derived by the actual real-time radar to see which one of these models is the best handle. The H, the uh, NAM model, the NAM four-kilometer model, which is a very tight gridded model. In other words, the data the data comes in over a, a, a tighter area; much more data goes into it, and in a small-scale event, tends to work pretty well. You know, has a has much of northern New Jersey kind of missing out on that line of storms, but the Hudson Valley gets uh, gets into it, and of course the line comes through later. This is more along the lines of five or six o'clock that it moves on through. So I think what we're going to do is just look at the local radars this afternoon, uh, late this morning and this afternoon, and see if we can derive any clues in terms of which model is going to have the best uh, handle on this uh, in terms of timing and in terms of speed. So. Uh, just pay attention to the forecast as we go through the day, uh, and uh, also uh, make sure you check out all the latest on severe weather uh, on um, SNS Storm Chasers, uh, ssstormchasers.com, or of course you can go to my website at meteorologistjoechaffee.com and on Facebook uh, at meteorologistjoechaffee.